Asia and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I got this super cute style using faux locks that are pre-styled into a bob. This is the Janet Collection 2 times Mambo Rockin' Locks and I have 7 packs in a 1B. They're 12 inches long. So I have 1 pack left and 2 braids from the 6 pack. What's dope about these is they actually come with bead cuffs and these bead cuffs are pre-rolled to fit the size of your lock so it's really easy to get them to not slide off which is something that I experience personally when it comes to bead cuffs sometimes I'll find them on the floor because they're not tight enough but these come very tight so you have a choice of gold and you also have a choice of silver. This hair was sent to me by Janet Collection and you can find all the links and everything to all the products that I'm using down in the description box. Alright you guys so let's go ahead and get into my tutorial on how I installed this hair. This is is my braid pattern of choice. I have a total of 11 braids in the front going to the back braided into two braids and then a curved braid in the nape. I'm going to start by rolling up the ends of my hair. Now this blank space that I have in the middle is where I'm going to tack down the braid. I'm going to be using a needle and thread to tack these down and I'm just going to tack the perimeter of the braid and make sure that I get the middle section where my ends are rolled up. So this is what it looks like once I have tacked down both sides. Now I'm going to begin to install the locks. As you can see these are very natural looking and the ends are not blunt. So I'm going to start in the back of my hair. I'm not putting any braids on the last row. Since this is a bob style I don't want the locks to hang too low. Plus the braids at the back are pretty small and I don't want it to hurt. So I'm just making sure that these are even before I tighten the knots. And I'm just using the typical crochet method, you know, pull the hook through and then go ahead and add the hair and pull the hair through. Then I pull the crochet hair through the knot and I make sure that it's even before I tighten the knot. And I like to space these out pretty well. This is one pack of hair that I used in the back. Now I'm going to install in the front. On the first row, I only put in two of the crochet braids and I just increased by at least one on every subsequent braid. These are very easy to install, however, if your braids are tight, you might run into a little bit of difficulties because these locks are thick. And what I found was that in some areas, it was painful to install these. So I would recommend installing it onto the braid in those areas or just um, waiting until your hair loosens up. So when spacing the back of my hair, I just use my pointer finger and I make sure that each braid is one pointer finger width apart. And this helps to make sure that my braids are still covered, but also that it's not too bulky. I also like to split the ends of the crochet braids to each side of the braid, just so that way it can cover up the braid fully. So this is my very last braid at this point. And I'm just going to continue to crochet them in. I'm making sure that I put the hook underneath the side that it's going to be flipped to. That way the knot can lay over it. And then I just go back and I add any additional pieces as needed to make sure that it's nice and full. Next, I'm going to take my Grow Edges Edge Control and I'm going to put that on my edges just to slick everything down. Then I take some scissors and I'm going to actually cut these pieces that are too long. Now at first I thought I needed to do, you know, the gentle cut making sure that it's not blunt and roll them up. But later I found out that it doesn't matter, you can just chop and it'll still look good once you palm roll it. So I'm just cutting and palm rolling to make everything even. Then I'm going to take these bead cuffs. Now you get six and you get three gold and you get three of the silver. I do not like mixing gold and silver so I just chose to put in two packs of the silver. 
Then I'm gonna take some hemp cord. This is by Beads Landing. I got this from Michaels. And I'm gonna take this first pink shade and just take a generous amount. I'm gonna cut that and then I'm going to braid it into the strand that I want it on. Once I reach the end, all I do is I knot it twice in order to keep it in place. Then I cut off the excess string. And I just did that again on another lock just to give it a little extra something something. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I think it's super cute. enjoyed that quick little tutorial I know this is so easy you can definitely do this style if you're new to crochet or if you a pro girl this is very cute perfect for the summertime make sure you like share comment and subscribe and I'll catch you loves in my next video